Hey, it's Ellie Hart from TC Helicon, and I thought it'd be a really great idea to give you guys a bit of a tour around our free software called Voice Support 2. I want to give you some tips and tricks on how you can really utilize this software with anything of our products that have uh, presets in it. So our Voice Live series, the Voice Live Play, all that fun stuff. So let's check it out. All right, so you have voice support open and you have connected your product and this is going to be the the extreme. You can also do this uh, with any of our products that have presets. So we're open, we're in our devices. You can scan if your device doesn't show up and you can also disconnect your device from the screen, but we're going to go into the preset screen. So here you have all of the presets that are on your currently connected device. Um, we've also got all of our cloud presets here. So if you want to back up the presets that you already have on the device, you just hit um, either backup user, uh, backup selected, backup all um, to do that. So uh, that's a really great way to save your presets so that in case you mess something up uh, on the hardware at a gig or something, you know that you have a, a saved uh, preset bank on voice support. You can also search for a preset, hit find preset there and type in like you know, Lady Gaga, if you want some of those ones and use those. It's also going to tell you the location that it's in. Um, so if it's on the cloud, if it's on your hardware, or if it's in your voice support. All right, so I'm going to take you guys over here. These are This is our workspace, and there's two different views to look at it, um, and you just change them with this toggle view button. So here you have like big old boxes uh, or nice kind of or organized uh, bands. So uh, the preset detail, if you select a preset, shows up down here, has your name, uh, whether you have steps and how many, and uh, which genre tag it's associated with within the uh, Voice Life 3. You'll notice that there's two different colors here. We've got dark blue and kind of a gray. Dark blue means that I've gone ahead and I've edited some of those presets. So um, uh, you can also scroll down, you'll see there's a lot more down here as well. So what I'm going to show you guys is I tend to make my presets based on the song that I'm doing. So every song that I have uh, has a preset. So I've got these uh, number one, two, three, five, and six um, songs that I have edited. Um, however, they're kind of scattered within my presets. So I want to go ahead and clean that up. So I'm going to sit, uh, select those uh, on a Mac. It's command and just select the ones that I want to use. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to move them. So there's three different ways you can move them. Um, you can drag and drop, and I'll demo this. Say I wanted to drag it there. You can either move it, and they all move, and it basically takes them out of those slots and puts them here. And when I hit Apply Changes, I'm not going to do that right now, but once I do, these are going to restore to the factory presets that were originally in those slots, because those slots can never be empty. Um, if I don't want to do that, you can always hit undo. So say I want to move it here, you can also paste it. What that's going to do is it's going to keep my original preset in 3 and also paste it to 31. The other thing you can do is you can insert. And what that does is it puts it in there and then it moves everything over a slot. So that's another option you can do. You can swap. So now this goes there and that goes there. Again, always hit undo. These changes never get applied until you actually hit apply changes. And the last one you can do is add as a step. You'll see now I've, I've got a step added in there, a second or a third one rather, and that's that preset added as a step in there. So what I'm going to show you guys is a little trick. So I'm going to select all of these songs that are my songs that I've written and I want them there. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to drag them down past 200. I'm actually going to take them over to somewhere nice and clean, like 400. And I'm going to move them. So when it's orange or brown, whatever color you want to call that, it means that there is a change that we've made here that is waiting to be changed. So I've moved those to 400 and I'm going to apply changes. So now those are written there. <coughs> oh. And now uh, those original factory presets that were up there have been changed. So these are edited presets and I want to go back to factory presets. So what I'm going to do is select all of those or if you only have one that you want to do and right click and delete selected presets. Now when I apply changes, you see that they're deleted. Can never, these 
200 and less can never be empty. So as soon as I hit apply changes, it's going to restore the factory presets to those ones. Okay, let's go back to these songs down here. So these are the ones that I've written. Um, what I want to do is I'm going to select all of those. Um, and actually, I'm going to select every single one. So I've done control A and I, I've got every single preset in here selected. This is crazy, so not everyone's going to want to do this, but it's a little trick. You can untag all of the genre tags so that I'll go through here. Oh my gosh, this takes too long. Okay. I'm going to say apply changes. So now we have no genre tags. So basically when you go to the genre setup in your hardware, there's going to be nothing. So if I want to use these songs for set one in a three set night, I'm going to go ahead and select them. And I'm going to just choose a random one, let's say favorite, and then apply changes. And now those are my set one. If I had, you know, 10 more songs in here that I want to do for my second set, I could select all of them and apply dance. So that when I go into my hardware, I can just go to my different sets um, that we're calling genres. All right. So now I've done everything I want to do. If I want to get rid of these, like, empty spots I can hit optimize space and that moves everything up so that we don't have all those big spaces and you'll see my songs I just put in have just been moved into these presets um, if you don't want to do that you can hit undo and you're back to where you were so the last thing I want to show you is how to import and export if you want to save all of these onto your computer you hit export Choose the location that you want it to be on, and you can start your export. Wabam, saved onto my computer. Now, if I um, are out in the field, I don't have my computer, I don't have voice support, I can download voice support, I can export and import, rather, um, these presets that I've saved onto a hard drive or maybe Dropbox or wherever, and have them at any time as well to put back onto my device. All right, so there's voice support. Hope you found that helpful. Please like our video if you did. And um, uh, feel free to have any questions you might have in the comments. And please, as always, subscribe to our YouTube channel so you don't miss out on any awesome tutorial videos.